what's up everybody thank you for checking out the video it's another day appliances need to be fixed so i'm out on the street ready to conquer the appliance world anyway first call this morning i am headed to a washing machine well i'm headed to a customer's house to fix their washing machine i need to replace the gasket on their front load washer not too hard uh, common repair so a lot of you guys out there might be looking for a video to uh, find out how to replace it basically it's the same concept on all front load washing machines you got to take off the front panel remove the uh, gasket put the new gasket on put the front panel back on um, not really hard the hardest part of doing this job is putting the springs back on the gasket if you're an appliance tech you know what I'm talking about so we'll get on that get that started after that I have a refrigerator diagnostic and then after that I have a oven igniter replacement so you guys get to see these couple calls again if you like the videos like subscribe if you guys have any questions on appliances leave them in the comments I'll get back to you guys or maybe you guys can give me some ideas on videos uh, what you would like to see and I can get working on it thank you guys
right guys, so I just uh, went to check a commercial refrigerator. The customer said they just got it in. It's a used one, but it's practically brand new. He called in and said he just wanted us to look at it just to make sure everything was working okay, but usually when they say something like that or they just want to check up, usually something's wrong or they think something's wrong with it. And come to find out the evaporator fan motor wasn't working. So I just picked up a uh, nine watt Evap motor, evap motor, it's a pretty common motor used on condensers and evaporators. Um, so I'm gonna head back over there, swap it out. Uh, I'm gonna record it with the GoPro, um, the change out. So enjoy. So I got the uh, the motor on there, and the customer is happy. It's a little medical lab here, so they store different type of medical stuff, biohazardous, whatever it is they store in there. But uh, I actually got the wrong motor, one well, the right motor, but uh, the way that it sit on there was wrong. The way the bracket was set up. So I let the customer know that I, I needed to go get another one. I needed to order another one, and he told me just go ahead and. Uh, uh, if I can make that one fit on there, which I was able to make it fit and he said just leave it like that And he was happy just because they needed the refrigerator really bad and they didn't feel like waiting for another one to come in I'm headed to another car right now I'm actually gonna go check out a water heater because they need to replace so I'm gonna go check it Get the measurements see what other materials I need get it drained out uh, Go pick up the water heater go back and replace that one So yeah guys so on that repair I just replaced the, an, an igniter on an LG oven the igniter um, it's, uh, it was a pain in the butt to remove not really a pain in the butt but the screw that holds the little casing of the igniter onto the burner the screw stripped sometimes that happens on oven igniters the screws that actually hold the igniter in place um, I'm guessing with the heat and over time it, when you try to unscrew them, they just kind of they strip really easily the threads uh, so I had to Tear it off Get it off the screw actually broke trying to get it off of there um, But I was able to put the new one on route the wires to the back and replace that igniter I Wasn't able to get the whole video, but I you know I got what I could uh, basically that igniter it wasn't out completely it was just weak I think uh, in a previous video I had explained that um, when those igniters get weak they don't send the correct voltage back to the gas valve or amperage back to the gas valve so replaced it got it going for the customer happy got paid and I'm out on to the next one the next call I have is a water heater I'm going to I'm going right now to uh, start draining it get the measurements on it and then I'm gonna head to Home Depot and get a water heater and whatever else I need to replace that unit. 
right? Alright, so I just went to go check out that water heater. I actually, he's actually a customer of mine. Golly, people don't know how to drive, man. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, so check that water heater. This customer, he's actually a repeat customer. I did the air conditioning maintenance on his units last summer. I actually checked that water heater last summer and I let him know that it's going to need to be replaced. He, at that time, he said he was going to wait it out and see how long it lasts him. And here we are. Following year and it's uh, it started leaking bad. So I got it draining right now. I'm about to go pick up the water heater and a couple shark bites and go back to the house and get that replaced real quick. All right. guys so I just finished that water heater 40 gallon insulation um, now I am headed for refrigerator diagnostic so it's my last call of the day my GoPro actually only has about three minutes of recording time left so if I do get any footage it's gonna be on my cell phone um, but yeah last call of the day I feel good all right guys so I just went to go check that refrigerator I wasn't able to record um, customer was on me um, sometimes when you go to calls customers are right behind you trying to see everything that you do and she was one of them she's actually a, oh, I actually been out to her house about three years ago and I asked her I, had, I asked her if I had been there before and she said yeah she, she had been looking through her emails all day today <laughs> trying to find the invoice from three years ago but I uh, went in there and checked her refrigerator I'm gonna have to go back tomorrow um, because I need to take out all the food from the freezer and she was wanting to uh, get an ice just to put the food in while I worked on it. Um, this coronavirus. I told her that it wouldn't be long, that the food wouldn't be out long for me to take care of what I needed to do, which is unclog the defrost drain line. But she insisted to get a ice just to put the food in, which is understandable. I mean, it's her food. Do what you got to do. Hard times, you never know. But um, tomorrow I'll be back out there. She'll have her ice chest. We'll put the food in the ice chest. That way I can work on the refrigerator. Also checked her washer while I was out there. Uh, at the Whirlpool. Cabrio. Um, she said that it was making a loud noise during the spin cycle. I checked it out. It was a bearing, which is a common issue with those. I uh, gave her a price. Um, she said that she was going to wait about a month to get that fixed and for me to just take care of her refrigerator tomorrow and then she'll call me back out to go fix the washing machine. So I'm done for the day. Um, all in all, pretty good day. Not too busy. Uh, hopefully tomorrow's a better day. Again, guys, if you like the video, 
Go ahead, subscribe, give me a like. If you have any questions on any appliances, let me know. And y'all take care. Later.